to kickstart this week's live picks, we're looking ahead to the Singapore International Festival of Arts. Cancelled last year because of the pandemic, it returns on May the 14th. And here to tell us more is Assistant Life Editor Olivia Ho. Hi Olivia. Olivia, this year's festival will have 60 shows by both local and international acts. Now with so many to choose from, which would you say is a must watch? Well, this year has really been a bumper crop from, uh, we have about nine festival commissions and that is the biggest number that we've had in the three years of uh, festival director Gaurav Kripalani's tenure. And uh, it's very hard to pick. I'm particularly excited about the commission, which is uh, the first time homegrown theatre companies, uh, Pandemonium, Wild Rise and the Singapore Repertory Theatre will be on stage together. Uh, of course, they appeared together last year in the pit, which is a short, a very funny short film that they made to raise funds and uh, they're following this up in live theatre with the commission. I'm also extremely uh, keen on, on Oiwa for instance, it's uh, by the finger players. It's a story about a vengeful Japanese ghost wife, so the wife of a samurai in the Edo period who um, is disfigured and then dies and she returns to avenge, uh, avenge herself. And uh, the finger players known for their work with puppetry, they are working with Japanese theatre company and um, they will be they will be bringing on uh, human puppets who will be controlled by puppeteers. So that's another some, that's another something to look forward to. Uh, and also we have uh, Three Sisters, which is the Anton Chekhov play, one of his best known works. Uh, Nine Years Theatre is working together with a New York theatre company called City, and uh, they'll be they'll be performing together. The New York actors will be coming in remotely, and the and the Nine Years Theatre actors will be come, will be performing at the National Library's Drama Centre Theatre. So that's all very exciting and there's a lot of other stuff as well. Exactly, so there is so much to pay attention to. So Olivia, how can someone catch all of these performances? I understand, you know, some shows are already sold out, but there could be more seats made available soon. And of course, there is the virtual element as well. Yes, so um, the moment SIFA tickets were released, they were gone, like uh, many of them, they were going on hotcakes. Um, so several of the shows are currently sold out. But as we know recently, the government has announced uh, the easing of restrictions on live performance. And uh, so the SIFA team has said that they will consider this and we may be looking forward to there being more seats released sometime soon. We're not really sure, but we'll let you know when that happens. Plus, if you, if you still can't get those seats, there's always video on demand. So at um, the theatre commissions are available uh, on they'll be available digitally and I think those tickets will be released on April the 12th. Thanks for that Olivia. That was Olivia Ho, Assistant Life Editor. The Singapore International Festival of Arts will be from May 14th to the 30th. You can get your tickets and of course find out more information on CIFA's website. But something that's happening much sooner, well today in fact, is the newest Mortal Kombat movie. I am excited. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> it's out in the cinemas today. Well, film correspondent John Louis is here to share more. So John, the franchise has as you know, already two movies, so this will be the third one, and all three are spin offs of the popular Mortal Kombat video game series, of which Harianto is a big fan of. What can fans of the franchise expect? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Harianto. I wish it was better, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait for another movie to come along. Oh dear, but okay, John, I, I'm a fan. Is there anything I suppose good because when I was watching the trailer I was really impressed with the costumes you know the costumes look good the action was there anything particularly good uh, about the movie yeah, the costumes and set design are great. Uh, we see Singaporean actor Chin Han in a really grand operatic costume with a big headgear and a big wig. What's the problem with it is that um, it tries to be a video game movie, stay true to its video game rules. So you, you have a small group of fighters in an enclosed space. So unlike Aquaman or the big superhero movies, it really can't open up and have battles between armies. So you miss that spectacle. And also because um, it comes from a video game background, when you see martial arts, I think all of us have now increased our standards of what martial arts in movie can be. I mean, we've seen John Wick, right? So now for this, the martial arts, it tends to be influenced by the video games and because of all the costumes and things they're wearing, it, it tends to slow them down. So the martial arts is just merely okay. 
Oh, that's a good point. Well, John, does the movie in any way bring it into the 2021 era? Because, you know, after all, the previous two movies were made over 20 years ago. That's right. The two movies were kind of campy, kind of over the top. It's not. It's a style that was, you know, in the old Batman movies. You used to see that, but not anymore. So now the tone is more serious. It's more like Avengers heroes assembled kind of. Tone. So everyone is built up to be serious and epic and 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 really like honorable people from the start. So um, I don't know. It, it just takes itself a bit too seriously for me. Okay. But I think I'll still watch it. Because, Go for it, you know, yeah. It's, it's a very, it brings back childhood memories mm, for me. You absolutely should. Watch it. Well, thank you so much, John, for sharing that. We've been speaking with firm correspondent for The Straits Times, John Lee. Mortal Kombat is out today. Well, tomorrow's Friday pages will have more live pics. You should also visit straitstimes.com for more news and videos.